Hello and welcome to End Zone Several 2. Like we have found a new this is a post apocalyptic colony builder being developed by Gently Mad Studios and Assemble Entertainment, who are sponsoring this video. We're going to go out and set out in the apocalypse and try to build a town. Actually, probably build a few towns uh, the way this thing works. Right now, we have ourselves a bus, a very post apocalyptic style bus. Where there is 15 going? of us on board. All of our supplies are here. And our job is to set out and find one of these lands, we actually started right next to one, one of these open spots here that has uh, a place to call home. There's, the, there's a few of these pockets of land, of, of buildable land, mixed in the middle here with, with sort of the ruins. And in these ruins, we can loot these ruins and grab supplies from all these places. So it's kind of two games in one here. We are oh, building a, a colony, and in, in, in our off time, we'll go and scavenge some of these ruins. Now, each of these places we have don't necessarily have all the same stuff. So this one has clay and it has fertile soil. It has three spots of fertile soil here. Good for building. Uh, it has trees, you know, it has all that. It does not have any swamp land, which we would need to get, like, for water in case there's a big drought. We will not have, be able to get any water out of the ground, which would be a reason you would build uh, a second colony and set up sort of like a trade route kind of thing going. But um, for the sake of, of getting a build, getting something done I now and not um, scouring around trying to find a good spot, we're going to build one right here. So we're going to start out here with a, uh, a new settlement, and we're going to build... This is sort of now our depot, I guess. Where we want to build our town Access center. ramp. Um, and we're going to place our town center near... We can scrap the ruins for, well, for scrap. And we get trees for, for wood. There's food in there as well. There's more lots of scrap over here. Look at all that scrap. This is the fertile soil this way. I want to be kind of next to the water. So I think maybe... Maybe like back here, we can get the scrap nearby. The water's over here. The, the farms will go over that way. Yeah, we're going to... Tuck it up here into the um, into this little grove right there, which that grove won't be there very long because we're, we're going to chop it all down. Anyway, there's our new settlement. All 15 of us live here. Our new home. Okay, so let's go get some things built. We need a few things. We need, uh, of course, we need we need uh, water. So we've got a jetty here. And everything kind of works on sort of a... Uh, um, needs to be in the vicinity of, of other things. And you can see kind of popping up there how that wheelbarrow is like going on and off. And... By having the jetty next to that, having a depot in the vicinity, as you can see there, it gives us a little bit of a buff. Uh, having a road link will give us a buff as well for this jetty. So that's fine. These are some of our supplies, which you can see them all up here. This is an automatic thing, and we'll have builders that go out, and they'll get that thing done and, and built here in Last Refuge. Hopefully not the last one, because we're going to build more, more towns against eventually. Uh, we can get a well, which would go into a swampy land. We can't do it out here, but we can put it in a swamp, and it would be effective. Which is kind of a thing you need, because this is a game where you're going to have, like, radiation waves come through, and droughts are going to come through. It's really a terrible place. And having a swamp is a good way to mitigate sort of the drought effects, because you can keep a well in there. Um, I did play the demo of this. I have, a uh, like, a two-and-a-half, three-hour video of me playing the demo on this. Uh, and, uh, yeah, things, things get... Get, things get bad, and I was I was kind of saved by having some wells around to keep my um, my keep the water supplies up. And you see them, them dropping at the moment. But we'll put a couple people there working the jetty, and they're basically just going over there. They're grabbing some buckets, they're filling them up, and bringing them back. Tasty, tasty lake water. Walking through the trees here and heading this way. Uh, so there is uh, there's the forge I'd also put down over here, which they are building as we speak, which will give us some food. So we got water under control, we got food under control, we should probably get some, we could do a fishery, probably a good idea since it is right here, and it's probably not going to reach over this way, it doesn't quite reach that, we can put a depot in, but we can just do like this, I think, and that's fine, yeah, that's fine, grab some fishes, and let's go put a person into the forger hut, we don't need a whole lot, we only got 15, so we're not going to go squander, we got 11 folks that are available to work right now, uh, wood, scrap we get out of these buildings over here, wood, of course, we get out of the trees, uh, cloth, we'll get, um, well, we'll start making this stuff, we'll plant some things and get that done. A lot of these supplies, though, we will get with our bus, and we'll go, we'll do that in a minute here, but we'll, um, we'll get this stuff done first. Let me put my tree dude over here. We'll go to those ruins, and we'll just find stuff. So there's our tree lumber guy, we'll get a scrap yard. Look at all these cars over here, that's kind of cool. Um... I think I want to put him, again, if it's close to here, you can see the bonus there. If we could, we could put a depot over here, it's not really the end of the world. We can, we can adjust where they work. It's just there's so much more over here. I think I'm going to move this, and I'll just put a depot nearby. I think it just makes more sense. So let's do something like, uh, like that. And then we'll get a depot sort of on this, this side of town over here. 
And then next to this, we'll put a recycler. Uh, well, let me get that stuff built first before we get too crazy here. Woodcutter Lodge is done. We'll get a couple folks grabbing some trees. We'll get a fish man. And looking good. We'll get some roads here shortly. No kids in this town. Um, this guy, once he gets done, which is going to be a minute. There they go. They're going to work on it right now. We'll, uh, we'll get started here. Uh, you may notice there is state of health is a, th is a concern. The confidence in the settlers. Radiation is something that will come in later on very, uh, very suddenly. And then how much radiation protection we have, which is where that cloth is going to come in. And having, like, proper suits, you know, for, for dealing with that. Um, other things that we can get. So this we have the we have the basics down. We need more things. We'll have to get some research, which we'll get we'll get shortly. Um, you may have seen some transport routes in there as well. There's expeditions, which we'll see here shortly. There's my one settlement at the moment. No events just yet. Let's grab a couple folks in there, grab some scrap because we're gonna need a bunch of that. Actually, we'll grab a, a third scrapper. There we go. And we will get that hauled over there. It may not be a bad idea to go put in a depot, material depot over here. To um, you can see the light that blue there. To because we'll have like the plastic guy can be over here. That guy will be there. I think yeah, that might be okay. Put a depot in over here, and I'll also go ahead and get started on. Oh, a cistern to hold water. Yes, please. We'll put that like right there. Grab from there, and then we'll get. Uh, we should probably do a food depot too. Make sure we can have, just basically hold more stuff. Um, because a big part of it, um, when, I, when I played before, a big part of this, and end zone one as well, is sort of making sure you are prepared for those terrible things that come in and ruin, and kind of ruin your day, ruin your settlement. Let's get some houses though. That would probably make things a little better. So let's go house up, uh, like. Oh, I can't have things in the way. Um. There's three. They hold five, so that'll be enough for what we have. I'll put one here. We'll eventually scrap this thing out. It'll be fine. Uh, and and then the uh, you may have seen some meters there. How happy and how healthy things are. We can do one little thing easily to make them happier, and that is put out a campfire. Everybody loves a campfire. Can I fit that in there? No. That would sure be nice, wouldn't it? Um. I'll put it like right there. And we'll do like a road around it and all that. There you go. So there, there you go. They're very happy. Lovely place. Depot is a working. And it's holding some scrap and some wood. That'll get loaded up in there. Uh, I will go ahead and get... I'm, I'm getting some things like started early because we're going to go do some exploring. And so this stuff can kind of run. And while well, we can go do... Uh, fiddle with us some other things. We actually have too much food in this town. I don't believe it. That's never happened in the history of me playing a game ever. Is that lighting up blue? It should be. I don't think it is, though. Did it not count as a food guy? Well... That does count. I'm going to put it right there. Because that fish guy should work with this. We don't have enough wood, but we'll get it. We'll get it. Wait. We don't, have enough, we don't have wood. We should fix that. Okay. And we... Yeah, too much food. So as soon as that gets done, then we'll have some food supplies in here. Let's go and get someone working on the recycler, which is going to take scrap and turn it into... Um, into uh, plastics for us, right there. Uh, we can get some roads as soon as we get, but it takes tools to make roads, so I'm, I'm gonna hold off. We'll get them in a minute. A lot of these things are saying they want roads around, you know. Uh, we'll get those in uh, a minute. Okay, so let's go see the uh, the other part of the game. And this is sort of like, it's probably best like described as as a lot of these, a lot of city builders and colony builders have this sort of thing where um, in the times that you are, and so you're just waiting for things to get built, you're waiting for houses to get done, you're waiting for free workers, you're waiting for I don't know, your farms to, to get completed. It gives you something to do. And it's also kind of important. So we got this Pathfinder, or the our, our van. We can run around these ruins and, and pick some things up. We picked up a bunch of, of scrap from this house. It's now complete. All we can go clear. scope out this place. A lot of them are just that. You just kind of run through and clicking things. We'll loot this ruin over here. We we'll grab some more stuff. You can see we, get a lot of, we can get a lot of scraps this got way. Uh, and then we can also come... Oh, this might be one of the ones. Is this an expedition? Ah, it is. An expedition. And we can enter the expedition. For the most part, the house is still intact. Maybe we'll get to the upper floor somehow. Okay. Maybe we'll get to the upper hill, upper floor somehow. Let's go room. explore this place. Anything outside? We can hold space bar and tell us if there's anything visible. Um, that guy's having a bad day. Washing machine. There's a shelf over here. We can come in over here. Let's go. 
inside this way and go take a look inside here. Now basically, we come around here, we just want to pick things up. We got a shelf, which got us a lockpick. Very nice. We got a washing I'll machine over it. here. Uh, washing machine drum is still remnants of... Gee, I guess there were once... I guess what was once clothes. I'm in. No way we can wear them anymore, but it's amazing after all these years, scraps of cloth haven't lost their coloring. Yeah, amazing. Uh, we have a wall over here. If we had an axe, we could bust through that wall. If only we had an axe. On the road. Oh, look what's laying on this on the wall there. Or on the on the shelf. How convenient. We'll do there's an axe here. Maybe we can still put it to good use. Oh, maybe we can. You don't always get I'm guessing because this is the this is the first one I had next to me the last time I was playing. Um I'm guessing because uh, it's sort of our starting area, it gives it to us. But we don't always have all the stuff that we need to to rummage through here, and um, you'll have to go. You can come back, basically. Done. Bust through that wall. Let's go rummage through a shelf here. Pick up some iron. Nice, nice. Uh, I guess go. we can go ahead and head upstairs. Anything over here? There's a shelf we can check out. These documents are very Ah, research. Our Excellent. experts at home can surely learn a thing or two from them. Surely they can. Let's Anything go. over here? We have a safe. Let's go take a look. This old safe can't be cracked without substantial effort. Oh, I luckily I have some substantial lockpicks. I'll take this with me. Ooh, some more knowledge points and some iodine. Cool, cool. On the road. That will come in handy. This is one of those kind of um, I don't want to say slow burn, but slow slow burn is in as in the radiation comes on the road eventually. Um, and the first half of the game is basically you preparing for that. Um, the first half of the game, for the first bits of the game is Let's you sort go. of preparing for that. Grab as much scrap as you can, get your base as sustainable as possible, and make sure you have plenty of of. I'm um, in. Warehouses and, and storage places, uh, and then hopefully survive the droughts and the radiation storms and whatever else terrible comes out here at you. Uh, we got this one cleared up. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's end the expedition. We'll put all this stuff back into my inventory. I guess we can't take the copper. You know what? I don't want any copper anyway. We can come back and pick it up. All right, and we are done. So let's I'm get out, and we can head back to our, our place. We can drop it all off here at the loading dock. And go back into town here. On my way. Pass that stuff over to from Pathfinder to Last Refuge. We'll leave the supplies in there because we'll need those for sure. Look at all that food we got. Drop it all off, and we can keep on going and go out and do some more. But we should have things. I say that. But we don't. I can pay construction costs and building. Oh, look at that. Uh, no, we'll let him. We'll let him get it done. Let's speed up here. Get that stuff done over there. And I, I got tons of food. We need to get that that depot done. Uh, so as they are out scouring the place, um, yeah, we should get a road here. So we got only twenty one tools. When I get more tools, I'll I'll get some roads placed out here. We probably should look at getting like a farm and get some of that stuff done. But we did get that research, so let's go ahead and look at that. So there is three. This is a different thing from uh, um, end zone one, and that's the economy, ecology, and society. And there's basically three different tech tree tech trees, and every building that we have falls into one of those categories. So, for instance, the you'll see where they are here. Um, this doesn't quite show it uh, as as I I, th I thought it did. Maybe we just see it. Maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe some things have changed that I forgot about. I didn't realize change from the, from the demo I played before. Um, let's go into let's get that clay. We got clay here, right? There's a swamp farm. Oh, a swamp farm. Uh, huts, markets, pavilions. Those are all good stuff. I'm gonna go grab the clay pit. Let's unlock this one. And with our points, we can go and get a clay pit. Yes, please. Takes us some some things. We'll research. Takes five minutes. We'll get that done. We'll also learn and we'll go into the getting huts and things here shortly as well. As we uh, as we get going. Okay, yeah, we probably should get some. There's our work radius. We can adjust. Um, if anyone needs a road, I mean, I guess it's kind of working. It's kind of look at the animation. It's pretty neat. Look all the stuff coming in. Every one of these has like pretty neat stuff. I like that one. That's just a depot. 
Anyway, hard work. We still got three people, three people hanging around doing nothing. Uh, I could really use these these um, these tents to get done. What are we doing over here anyway? What if I were to do this? I'll uh, I'll pay to get that one done. Let me get them all done. Oh, I don't have enough material, I guess. We are a little short on tools. There we go. And tools can be solved by building a, a tool maker, a workshop. So this guy is, he's going to be over here because he's best served over this way. Which needs to be near those two things, which I'll put them like right, well, a lot of stuff in the way. I'll put them over here like that. So he'll get some tools made and we'll buy this as soon as we can get some more tools. There we go, research done. Nice, clay guy is done. We will dig out of the ground. Where's that clay at? I think I had clay around here. Have clay around here? Where's the clay at? There it is. It's right over here. Which is... I got myself turned around. Okay. All right, down that way. So we that eventually. We'll get some bricks and things out of that. Um, I want this guy to be working. We need a few folks. I'm going to put... I'll put two of them in there to get these tools made. That's going to be kind of important. Um, I have actually a ton of scraps. I'm going to lower the scrap grabber a little bit. We have too much of that and not enough like recycling going on. So I'm going to go... Uh, two's probably fine. I'll go down to one. So we get these other jobs done. Let's get these tools made now. Probably what we should, what we should have been working on. And then we got we get that rest of that other house done. So there's four houses. That'll be enough for people to come in. So there we go. We got we got enough now. We have twenty living space now. One more coming in. Um, I would like this this to be cleared out. So we'll see if we can get that done. Access point is is uh, the thing that our our bus drives up to. This guy over here. And I and ideally, um, and you'll need it and out of necessity. You'll be building a separate place. So I'll have to get a place that has like a swamp so I can get some herbs thing grown, you know, and, and um, I can get water, wells going in there when we have a really big drought because my lakes will certainly dry up whenever we get a big drought coming in here. Um, I do have one over here as well. So actually, I have, oh, I have a third one too, a third lake up this way. This is a big spot. Sometimes you start with little tiny spots. Sometimes you, uh, they're a little bigger. Plenty of wood. I'll lower that a bit. And... How are we doing our we got 12 12 of these I can I can boost the efficiency by by getting a road drawn to the uh the town center um how much is that gonna cost something like that and then we'll do one over here. And we'll get some of these done, some of these connected up here, because this will help out quite a bit. We'll do a road over here, and we'll get one over to Fishman. Kind of cutting through our trees here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Roads everywhere. Okay. Much better. Much better. Auto save going here. And happiness is going up. Excellent. Confidence is up. Water's up. Food's up. Nice, easy way of reading whether we are making enough food. We're making more food than we're eating. Water's more. Everything Everything is, is up. Which is good stuff. Uh, in order to get cloth, we need to get some fibers. And we got to go and um, get a weaving mill going here. Um, that's something. Let's see here. Get the clay pit. I wonder if the clay pit is more important first. Coal kiln. We'll make some charcoal. Here we go. The first drops have already fallen. It looks like it could rain for quite some time. Rain for quite some time. So this, what she's trying to say subtly, is she's saying build more cisterns. Give us more storage capacity. Stock up on your water because... You're gonna make sure you wanna make sure you wanna have this stuff around. So I'm gonna set these up. The thing really needs to be nearby these, I guess. So I think I'm just gonna kinda like set up a uh, a water land. And just keep on so cause as it as Oh, 
No, it's different. It's, the co <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you know what she's trying to say. Get more water. But our field crops will grow faster. What she's trying to say. What she's trying to say is get some get some plants grown. We can do a tree nursery over here because we're going to be chopping these trees down, which we are. Uh, it would be a bad idea, I suppose, to get, to get this guy in here to help put some trees in like that. Because he's chopping them all on pretty quick. Um, yeah, we could do that just to make sure that we don't run out of trees. And I suppose we should work, start looking at getting farms done. Um, there's the swamp farm, but I need to go ahead here to get this kind of farm. I only have two points left. I can get one there, but it takes two to get down that way. Uh, I can unlock this one. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Maybe we should go bricks. Extended social tent boosts the cell, uh, the settler capacity of the zone. Uh, all right, I'll unlock that one. We need some more stuff though, which we can go scour around and find. I'll get these bricks done too. Ooh, I won't. I won't. Ooh, look at that rain. We got five people sitting around doing nothing. Let's make sure we get a couple more houses in here. It's still near the uh, the the market. And, oh, we need cloth. Okay. Well, then. Fibers and water. See what, um... There's a tailor making clothing. for Like, uh, you can see making carbon masks and rubber gloves will be coming from there. Treatment plants, because these will get irradiated in time. There's the rain collector. I don't know why I was thinking cistern rain collector. I don't know what I was thinking. You know what? I don't think I was. Get that done eventually. Check out the the flower bed. It's a it, how much does it cost? I gotta make it. It's that's not there yet, but it's a boat. It's like a little boat with flowers in it. Fantastic. Yeah, we could also just put markers out. They go grab our stuff. Go grab stuff. We could use a little bit more water. Our water is... is Actually, we have tons of water. We just have a lot of cisterns around. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them up a little bit so we can make sure we have a nice stockpile of water. I'm just a little paranoid about um, about being out of water because that's what uh, happened last time. So yeah, we are... We are we don't have any fibers. we got to figure out how to get some fibers. I can do a plantation. I'll take that back. So, this guy is going to assert fertile soil. So, we can set this guy up over. Here. Like that. And then we'll get some, we'll get some fibers from this guy. Look at those flowers. Okay, let's make sure he gets, he gets done. Builders are out and working. Go. We want to make some fibers. Yes, please. We want to cultivate as much as I can. Can I get all that? Oh, that's it. Only a hundred. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think you know. I changed my mind. That's not fine. Let's go something like over here. There we go. Is that a hundred cells already? Yeah. There we go. Nice and easy. Now we're bringing some fibers in. We can change this if we want to go into natural latex, which we have to find that out on uh, on expedition. And this house is still not ready to go. We need more. We need some more cloth, which he is going to start making now. And now it's coming in. We want to organize a cel celebration at the settlements. Ask if they can provide a few resources for it. They want 500 water, 500 food. They give us 20% confidence. That's a lot of stuff. 500. All right. Go right ahead. Use up. Waste it all. Waste it all. What do I care? What we need is, is uh, we need to get some more of the cloth in here so we can get more houses in. Because we are just at our max now. Uh, this would do better if it was near a depot. Which I didn't put it next to one. Could have probably, I might be able to get over there to that one. Let's go see if we can put in. Um, 
What does that count? Does it need to be? It doesn't need to be a food depot, does it? There it goes. Well, that one already has a depot. Let's set one up over here. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to put it because we'll we'll make more stuff in here. So we'll set something like um, right there. And we'll grab the rest of that over there, and we'll make sure there's a road connecting. Not demolish. We'll make the road. Can I go through there. Okay, look at that confidence. They're so happy. Alright, lots of cloth has come in. Now we can get some houses here. And we'll keep make sure we keep them around this campfire here. And we're going to build them kind of in the same area. We'll want some literally like health buildings and all that as well. And we'll get that soon enough. Now uh, this needs to go away. Can I... I can't bulldoze you like that. I wonder if we can just work it. I wonder if I can just say, gather scrap and just gra gather that. Make that, take that thing down. I'd like it to not be there anymore. Water is going down now. So let's make sure that we are not running out of water. That would be bad. There you go. Now we're, now we're back on the ups. It's so uh, nice and easy, uh, easily read, whether we are short or not, which is very handy. Tear this thing down so we can get our road through here. And up to 24 people in town now. Let's take a look at this guy. There he is. I'm at the wheel. Let's go scout some more things out. So we saw the house. Uh, it is done. Let's go scour some more things. Let's go. Let's go. We have found a new zone. Take a look at it when you Ooh, get a chance. That. That's cool. It might be worth it to build a new settlement on it. So this is, this is tiny. It has clay. It has fertile soil. And it has one. It's one of each. But it is a tiny little plot of land out here. If we didn't have clay, for instance, this would be fine to have. Um, swamp, it might be nice to have the swamp, then we can just run a trade route back and forth. And basically, you set these guys up as a trader, who will just run over here, grab some water, bring it back to the other place if if needed. Um, if you build a little town here, a little settlement All clear. In, in this spot. Um, but we keep on looking and see what else we can find out there in, in the world. Each of these things, of course, ooh, expedition at the uh, at the. There's windmill? lots of scrap lying around here. We're sure to find things that are still useful here. Oh, On the road. Can you go in here? Grab the barrel. I'm in. Uh, yeah, bash that door open. Going up? We'll do. Ooh. What are you gonna do up here? Are you just looking around? Maybe we'll find something we can use to climb up here. If I brought you... If, so if I gave you ten tools... It worked. We could do that. Okay. Uh, well, I've got... Eight. So we go find some more tools. Okay, we'll come back. I'm curious about this one. Where are we going? Let's just run over... To one of these places here and see if we can just find some tools. Let's go. There's one over here. Let's see what we can find. No tools. We always just run back home and grab, and grab the tools, I suppose. There's some. Okay. On my way. I haven't seen this windmill one so yet, so let's go see this one. Let's go. Okay, up we go. There's lots of scrap lying around here. We're sure to find things that are still useful here. Maybe we'll find something yeah. we can use to climb up here. Build a ladder. Keep on going up. Ooh. Cool. I'll do it. 
Knowledge points. Excellent. There's a generator. Gives us some copper. I'll do it. A door we can go. Oh, look at that. From here, we've got a good view of the countryside. Oh, look at that. We've discovered a few places further off that we could take a closer look at. I'll a radio receiver from the old world. Someone adapted this unit after the catastrophe and even hooked up a microphone. Some of the frequencies are labeled. Here's red, there's beaver, and down there is Sahara. Were they friends or places? There's a notebook lying next to it, but the writing is completely faded. There's a date written on the last page, November 27th, 2038. That was ages ago. Weird. Okay. I'm in. I think that's everything. Back down again. It worked. Take my gloves and the copper in that expedition and complete. Well, that's a pretty neat, a neat place to, uh, that's a neat place to end the video on. There you go. There's end zone two. Got it. Early access. August 26th. There are links down below. You can check it out. Thanks again. Gently Mad Studios and Assemble for Got sponsoring it. this video. And, um, yeah, we'll call it a day there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.